Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Welcome back. Remember, tomorrow is the last day. Well, the last class. So, well, let's have positive um, energy. Hello, Miguel. Good for you because we are about yeah. to finish. Albert, hello. Good evening, Albert. So, hello, everyone. Here we have Majo, Raquel, Roxana, Ernest, Morelia, Denise. So, I hope you're okay. Um, today it's uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, and um, well, let's start with this. Here we have uh, the class uh, number 24. And the topic is the importance, the importance, right, of training programs discussion uh, yesterday we were talking about some uh, managers bosses or any employee who needs training and we all agreed that we uh, it is important to have uh, training uh, it is recommended to have one workshop at least a year so one capacitation or one yeah could it be like program in which you can learn uh, or you can develop different abilities, right? And that is the, re the recommendation. But I know it is uh, kind of complicated because we have a lot of work to do, right? But in the in the way that we can have like workshops, trainings, um, accreditations, and some other degrees, of course, go ahead, do it. Right, something that is uh, all, always demanding is an employee who is in capacitation all the time, right? Well, uh, that's number 24, the importance of training programs discussion. Let's see here. Well, here we have expressing wishes, okay? expressing wishes this is a way to for example imagine you are in the desert you are in the desert and suddenly ye, there appears a genie imagínense que aparece un genio porque genio de inteligente se dice genius genius okay like this, I'm going to write it like this, just in case you have some difficulties. A genius is a very intelligent person. But a genie, it's a, a, a spirit, a magical spirit that can give you wishes, like Aladdin. Aladdin had three wishes. Um, he had a lamp, and there, there inside the lamp, there was a genie. Okay, so this is like if you want to express a wish, si quieren expresar un deseo, you can say like this: I wish, yo deseo, o desearía, and I, the verb in the past. The, for example, um, in the case of verb B. Am is are in the past is was, right? Uh, for example, here. Let me show you. Here we have this. I wish uh, I had 10 cards. Desearía tener 10 carros. El verbo, the verb in present is have. But in the past, we, we uh, use have. I wish I were president. I know that the past of am is, el, el pasado es was. Pero normalmente se, se utiliza el were, aunque fuera plural, así en general. I wish I were a president. Desearía ser presidente. I wish I had 10 cars. Desearía tener 10 cars. Okay. I wish I had three dogs. I wish I were an actor. I wish I traveled. This is past regular verb. 
I wish I travel to Europe. Desearía viajar a Europa. Aunque el verbo esté en pasado, no quiere decir que estamos expresando un tiempo pasado. Solo es la forma para uh, expresar el deseo. I wish I saw my daddy. Desearía ver a mi papá. ¿Verdad? En el caso, imagine your, your dad is in heaven. So, I wish I saw my daddy or my father. So, I need you to prepare your wishes. Preparen sus deseos, ok. Let's uh, listen. What would you wish? And I'm going to check the attendance list, ok. I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. So, you can have uh, different ideas. Okay, um, let's uh, check your wishes in the chat, like Ernest and Roxana, okay? And here I'm going to be calling you in different order, okay? Something important is that you can express or you can use this uh, grammar structure, okay? Okay, uh, let's read one by one. And Ernest, please could you read your wish? And then Roxana, and I'm going to be checking here, uh, like if we have like uh, the attendance list. Just... Hi teacher, hello. Hello there. I wish I ate buffalo wings. Oh yeah, definitely buffalo wings. Every day, right? It could be like every day. Okay, thank you, Ernest. And we go with Roxana. I wish I traveled to Switzerland. You like Switzerland? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But in this case, yes. travel should be in the past. Travel. Travel. Ah, 
yeah, because ah, okay. it is important in that way you can express your idea. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, why not? Uh, Freddy's. Is I wish they could learn two languages. Okay, yeah, two languages. Well, in this case, when you say they, uh, who do you refer to? A quien te refieres cuando dicen they? Your sons, your kids, your family, family members, or something like that? A la clase. <laughs> ah, there. okay, yes. Okay, I wish. Yeah, good. Thank you. Um, we have also Majo and then Raquel. Okay, Majo. Okay. I wish I traveled to Argentina next year. Oh, yeah. Uh, Argentina has like, uh, yeah, a lot of places to go. And if you uh, take uh, dollars with you, uh, I guess you can buy kind of things, right? Yes, they have a <laughs> um, um, coin exchange that called Dollar Blue. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's cheaper. It's cheaper it's than cheaper. dollar. So it, it, yes. Yeah, it is, uh, it has benefits for us, right? Yes. If you have dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Well, nice. And even the food in there is like kind of good. Nice. Yes, wow. and the music. Yeah, music, of course, definitely. Definitely. Thanks. Uh, Raquel and Albert. Okay, Raquel, hello. I wish I travel to Maldives. Mm -hmm. Next year. Next year. Thank you. Uh, Albert and Morelia. Good evening, teacher. I wish I had one more thousand. Thousand. <laughs> okay. Uh, it could be I wish I had in pasado. I had. Yes, had. Had. Correct. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Morelia and Miguel. I wish I had my own house. Yeah, definitely, Morelia. I, I guess that's a wish that we all have. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Uh, Miguel and Nancy. Okay, Miguel. Okay. I wish I traveled to Brazil or Italy. Yeah, Brazil has a lot of good places. Then it is a very... A lot of carnivals there. Thank you. Um, Nancy and Vicky. Good evening, teacher. There. I wish I um, have my own house. Okay, yeah, similar. Your own house, yeah. It is a very important goal in our lives. Thank you. Vicky, please. Are you there, Vicky? I don't know. Vicky says, I wish I had a master's degree. Yeah, a really nice. When we finished our mayor, our career, I guess most of us think about a master's degree, but it is kind of difficult because we are working hard and also most of the master's degree are kind of expensive. They are not cheap, right? I Thank guess you. it is. Hello? Hi. Hello, Vicky. Oh, okay. No. Pensé que no me escuchaba. Yeah, I, I was not listening to you. Maybe there you had some difficulties, problems? Yes, the internet no is good. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. So you wish uh, a master's degree, right? Yes. I wish. Mm -hmm. Nice. I wish I yeah, master's definitely. Degree. I guess here in El Salvador, master's degree are the the monthly uh, fee could it be like one hundred dollars or one hundred fifty, right? Or even one hundred fifty or, or more. Or more, right? Because I remember UCA the first year is like one hundred dollars, but depends depends on the the the, the what about depends on the degree but the second year yes 150 definitely in most of the universities is like this or more okay thank you um maybe one one detail you say teacher but can i say uh only wish pueden utilizar solo el wish yes you can say for example um 
Ah, the, the song, we wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you Merry Christmas. So uh, it is like a special wish. It is not necessary to use this structure. Or you can say, I wish a new job. Deseo un nuevo trabajo. But when you say, I wish I had a new job, it's like, desearía tener un, un trabajo. It's like, like uh, the, the sense is kind of different. Okay? Thank you for all your uh, wishes. It's really nice. Let's see who else. Okay. Let's move. Uh, here we have this. Okay. What are the top three things on your bucket list? Okay. The bucket list. It's when you say, uh, well, when you wishes, wishes before you pass away. Deseos, actividades, eh, algo que quieran que pase antes que usted eh, pase a mejor vida. Okay. What are the top three things on your bucket list? I'll be waiting in the chat. And we're going to read all your answers, please.
I guess we all have like wishes. We all have like different, different ideas about uh, the moment when we're going to say goodbye forever. So, Maho, you're going to be the first one and then we go with Roxana. Okay, Maho? Okay. Um, the first thing is a um, spiritual retreat in India. I like to have this moment for me. Uh, the second one is a year where I only dedicate myself to traveling. And the third one, uh, see the northern lights, Aurora yeah, Borealis. Yeah, uh, I guess your it could be like a process to say goodbye to this world in the best way, right? Like spiritual yes. travel right spiritual yes. trip it is like yeah i like it yeah and you can enjoy a lot before you go to go to another spiritual place thank you maho nice i like it uh, roxana and miguel okay for me and uh, be healthy because i think it's the most important that we have to uh, speak english uh, fluently and travel to europe yeah, nice. Yeah. Be healthy, very important. Speak English, yeah, like one objective achieved. Mm -hmm. yes. And travel to Europe. Yeah, Europe is nice, definitely. Thank you, uh, Miguel and Freddy. Okay. Uh, for me, three important things that I want most are number one, that's all my projects tour of will. Uh, number two, that my family is always safe and does not like anything. Number three, to be able to develop the English and Portuguese language. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, of course, projects. Uh, we all want that our projects go uh, and succeed. And nice because they're talking about legacy, talking about your family, that uh, you want to be sure that your family is okay. Right? You leave this world, but your family is okay. And yeah, speak English and Portuguese. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Fredis, you're welcome. Fredis and Albert. Welcome, teacher. On my book list is number one, help for my family. I speak English and traveling to Europe. Oh, that's nice. It. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, talking about family, we want our family. It's okay about health and some other yeah. things. Okay. Uh, I yeah. like that you, you want to speak English. That's one of your uh, main objectives. Nice. Thank you. And traveling yeah. in Europe. Good. Thanks. Albert and Ernest. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. For me, it's that I do, I do now that work. Second, I home for my family. I and three, firstly, care to live happy, happily, and always find God for the for the daily. Okay, daily. nice, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, to have always job, uh, feel for your family that your family is okay and okay, definitely okay. Thank God for daily blessings. Good. Thank you. Ernest and Morelia. Hi, teacher. Hello there. I three top three. My my top three things is one, travel with my family to Europe. Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, the second two. See my son's forty years old. Yeah, nice. Uh, number three, lose thirty pounds next year. Wow, 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I, I, I have overweight. Okay, over yeah, you have to take care of that. But in this case, yeah. eh, sería luz, ¿verdad? Luz, en lugar okay. de la última, es la E, luz, 30 pounds. Okay. Oh, good. See your son's 40 years old. I guess that's one of the best sensations that your kids are adults now and you are sure that they are okay perfect I like it yeah. thank you morelia and vicky 
hello uh, first by my own house currently have a stable stable life healthily and monetarily third now at least three countries spain usa and mexico thank you yes okay house uh, stable in life okay spain usa and mexico mm, good uh, destinations thank you yeah so look at spain said it's all con s sin la e. but yeah yeah, yeah. yes uh, i guess the, the three countries uh, have a lot of attractions wonderful places yes yeah, I have and... reasons to know that, but okay, nice. I hope you can do it, Morelia. Thank you. Thank Vicky? you. Hey, Nancy. Um, I wish to see my daughter be a good and professional person. I wish to complete the payment of my house, and I wish to be a able to establish my. Able, excuse me, my own business. Okay, yeah. I like that you're talking, you, you want to see your daughter uh, not only to be a professional, but to be a good person. That's part <laughs> of your legacy. Es el legado. That's part of your legacy. It's the more important. <laughs> yes, it's the most important thing. And yes. you are giving a gift, a present for the next generations. Right? Yes. I like it. Yeah, and of course, your house will uh, complete paid, definitely. And why not, right? Your own business. Thank you. Um, Nancy? Okay. My bucket list is to have my own house, travel the world, and have my own company. Okay, nice. Yeah, definitely. It is good always to travel. Maybe you are thinking about if you know that you are going to die, you say, okay, I have to travel. I have to take advantage of this. Well, let's move to this. Okay. Okay. Um, here we have the question. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems uh, with employee performance? I guess the trainings are necessary, but there are some trainings that are not so important. For example, sometimes our supervisors, our bosses, uh, ask, ask us, nos pide, to be present in some trainings but those trainings can be like different. Like maybe you are interested in having di different types of workshops. Quizás ustedes quieren otro tipo de, de talleres and other types, right, of training. But uh, from one to ten, maybe half. Half trainings are like useful. And some others are not so important. Okay. Here we have read the following excerpt about the importance of evaluating the effects of training programs. Discuss these questions below with a partner. Okay, uh, training evaluation. I'm going to mark here some lines. I need you to help me reading, okay? Um, as we always do. Um, let's check if you can help me here. Okay, from asking to for Okay, Maho, could you help me? And then Morelia. Yes. Uh, asking your employees what they do of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. Thank you. Okay, we go with Morelia and then we go with Miguel. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainers 
fill up fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. Okay. We continue. Miguel, please. Okay. It may be an electronic survey, top email, a checking checking list, or questionnaire right after the training is over. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's move with maybe Vicky, a training survey. Okay, and then Roxana. Which teacher? Uh, here, a uh, training. A uh, training survey foc focusing? Focusing. Hmm? Focusing on the application of the new skill once your worker have started using them. Make sure the effectiveness, effectiveness. Mm -hmm. effectiveness of the training program. Thank you. Roxana, could you uh, continue, please? Companies? Companies must com combine, or combine, combine, combine such information with objective evaluations to get a complete picture of training results. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, here I have three questions. Right, uh, with three questions. We're going to discuss them in pairs. Vamos a discutirlas en parejas, okay? And here we have, for example, a diff important uh, parts. Let me show you which ones. Okay, look, um, when we say a training evaluation questionnaire, questionario, that the trainees fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. Es una herramienta efectiva. It may be an electronic, an electronic survey uh, through email, checklist, or questionnaire right after the training is over. Okay. Um, this is, imagine you have received a training, ha recibido capacitación. How can you know that that training was good, was uh, like a completely successful, or it was like good for you? Here you have three questions. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? Three. Why should companies combine the results of training and the evaluation of the training? Okay, so uh, we're going to work in painters. A ver si me puedo tomar una captura. And please answer these three questions. I'm going to organize the breakout rooms. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. I'm going to give you like four or five minutes and then we come back and compare answers. Please accept the request.
Okay, I need to accept the request. Let me check here. Let's see here. Okay, thank you.
Okay, here we have three questions in which we're going to answer. I need you to select one of these, okay? Because if we have like a lot of questions and eh, that is going to be kind of complicated to answer all of them. So one of you, please tell me what question you're going to answer, okay? So you tell me, let's see here, who's going to be the first one? So just one, just one question. Number one, what are some alternatives to evaluate training? Number two, how do you measure the, the effectiveness of the program? Three, why should companies combine the results of training and the evaluation of the training? Predis, you want to start or anybody else? Yes, teacher. Okay, what uh, what question? Uh, number one. Okay, let's go. Number what one is question, the answer? Mm -hmm. My co-worker, please. Okay, your co-worker. Okay, the, the question is Freddy will answer. Um, what are some alternatives to evaluate training? The alternative evaluate training is electronic survey, trunk, and email, and checklist, and questionnaire. That's it. Okay, yeah, that's it. Very simple, right? And in, maybe in the questionnaire, uh, you can have like a space to give recommendations. Right, of course. Thank you, Freddy's. Thank you, okay. uh, Maho, right? Both of you. Nice. Let's go with the others. Let's see who else. What? Maybe, yeah? Okay, maybe Vicky or Miguel. The number two. Number two, oh, please. Oh, okay. Um, let me... Okay, the answer number two is uh, a training survey focusing uh, on the application of the ones you work have started measure the effectiveness of the training program. Okay, yeah, that, that's another, right? That's how you could measure. Effectiveness. How, yes. How how do you measure? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, maybe Morelia and Roxana. Thank you. One, two. Even you can select one, two, or three. Depends on you. Okay. Um, I can read the the question mm -hmm. and Roxana the answer. Okay, please. Why should companies combine their results? of training and the evaluation of the training. Okay, companies must combine social information with objective evaluations to get complete picture of training results. Thank you, yeah, I like it. Okay, combine, combine, yeah. It is like, what are the expectations, but what is the reality, right? So in that way, you can have good, uh, Good results. Thank you. Uh, Alberto, Ernesto, or Nancy? Yeah, this, uh, Nancy. Or... Okay. Nancy, question me answer. Okay. Nancy, come on. Can you read the question, please? Question three, please. Okay. Question three. <laughs> Okay, um, because uh, companies must uh, don't stop. No, which company? Which is company? Yeah. Permítame, dígalo usted mejor. Okay. <laughs> We should companies combine training outcomes and training ev evaluation because 
it measure the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must companies must companies source information with objective evaluation to obtain a complete picture of the training result. Nancy, I forgot. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. Training results finished. Okay. Perfect. That's nice. That's nice. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Good, uh, good points. Okay, Biggie. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to have a listening exercise. Okay, listening. This um audio is kind of extends. I guess this is like one minute and thirty. So that's why um, we're going to listen two times because it is um, one and one minute and 30 seconds. Let's listen. Please pay attention. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, it's nice to see you all here. Welcome to British Life and Language. I am your teacher. My name is Lindsay Black. That's L I N D S A Y Black. Before we begin, some information about the class. Our class is in room 13 on the first floor. When you go upstairs, Turn left to find the room. Again, that's room 13. We have class twice a week, on Monday and Wednesday. Our class begins at 4.30 p.m. and lasts 90 minutes, so we finish at 6 p.m. That's 4.30 to 6. Please arrive on time, okay? Also, I have an office hour if you have questions. I am in office 7B on the second floor. My office hour is Friday at 6 p.m. So, if you have any questions or problems or want to talk to me, it's Friday at 6 p.m. in office 7B. I think that's all, everyone. I look forward to working with you. See you next Monday. Hello. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hello, everyone. Hello, it's nice to see you all here. Welcome to British Life and Language. I am your teacher. My name is Lindsay Black. That's L I N D. S A Y black. Before we begin, some information about the class. Our class is in room 13 on the first floor. When you go upstairs, turn left to find the room. Again, that's room 13. We have class twice a week on Monday and Wednesday. Our class begins at 4.30 p.m. and lasts 90 minutes, so we finish at 6 p.m. That's 4.30 to 6. Please arrive on time, okay? Also, I have an office hour if you have questions. I am in office 7B on the second floor. My office hour is Friday at 6 p.m. So, if you have any questions or problems or want to talk to me, it's Friday at 6 p.m. in office 7B. I think that's all, everyone. I look forward to working with you. See you next Monday. Okay, my friends, you tell me um, what are the, the words, phrases 
I guess you have some, right? Uh, Freddy's maybe, Albert, I don't know who else. Okay, teacher, this hmm? ideas pequeño. <laughs> no problem. Hello, everyone. My name is Lindsay Black. It's Monday, um, one day, please arise punctually, all see you next Monday. That's it, teacher. Nice, yeah, good. Well done, Freddy, thank you. Uh, I don't know if Albert or maybe Nancy. Any word, Albert or Nancy? Or Miguel? Me, teacher. Okay, Miguel, please. But, uh, but understand was, what understand is what she was a kind of teach who say that she was two videos Monday and Wednesday and that she hopes to work uh, with one. Okay, that's it. nice. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it, that's it, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Albert. Well, I don't know if Nancy, you have something? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nancy. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, we have class Monday and Wednesday. Please, I are Prontually. See you next Monday. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Remember that in all the audio, uh, we have a lot of words, phrases, but we have a specific vocabulary that it is important. We're going to check it in now. And it is like this. Let me check here. Okay. Look. Here we have this. Hello, everyone. Hello, it's nice to see you all. And that's it. And she talks about uh, her information, Lindsay Black. And she spells L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. Okay. Our class is in room 13 and so on. And then here we have very specific information. We have class twice a week on Monday and Wednesday. Our class begins at 4.30 p.m. and lasts 90 minutes. So we finish at 6 p.m. That's 4.30 to 6. Please arrive on time, okay? And so on. And here we have some other information. I'm in office, okay? 7 p.m. on the second floor and so on. So, yeah, see you next Monday. Not all of these uh, words are important. But we have a lot of important information here, right? So, thank you. Let's move now. And we're going to check this. Well, we were talking about survey. Ya hablamos sobre la encuesta, right? So, in this case, and we're going to do something very simple. Look at this. Training effectiveness evaluation form. Imagine you have finished your training or workshops that it was like two days or one day. So uh, this is like a checklist. A checklist is there are some questions, some, uh, could it be uh, some ideas in which you can have a, 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 an idea, yeah, ideas to check if it was good or not. For example, how would you rate the overall quality of this training? Como evaluaría? Excellent, good, fair, poor. Excellent, you know, poor, good, bueno. Fair is más o menos como lo justo, but poor is bad. Then, how well did the trainer keep the session interesting? How well did uh, this program accommodate your background needs. How effective were the handouts? Los folletos. How convenient was the location? El lugar. 
the knowledge and skills I gain from this program will be useful in my job? If yes, then list one item from the training that you are going to implement or review when you return to work. What other trainings would you like management to provide? Okay. We're going to create a checklist of five aspects, okay? In pairs, in parejas. Re think about five aspects. You can take into account some of this, but you can say some others, for example, uh, how would you rate the participation of the employees? Was the snacks or food good? Uh, you can talk about the weather, you can talk about the dynamics, the topics were, if the topics were interesting, si los temas eran interesantes. Okay, you can select excellent, good, fair, poor, or you can say from one to 10 or from one to five. Okay, so we're going to work in pairs, trabajamos en equipo, necesito que me presenten algo en imagen. Okay, you're going to send it uh, here to the Zoom chat. Um, a picture about five aspects. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. But maybe let's have just five aspects in which you consider you can evaluate. Cinco aspectos que ustedes consideran que pueden evaluar una capacitación. After a training, after a workshop, ¿cómo lo podrían evaluar? ¿Qué aspectos ustedes podrían preguntar? You could ask and to check if it was a good and effective or not an effective training, okay? You can have a screenshot, pueden tomar una captura para tener una idea, to have an idea. Aquí tenemos la actividad. Create a basic checklist to evaluate a training you received in your workplace. Eh, pueden utilizar esto como referencia, si quieren o lo pueden cambiar, okay? Y si se dan cuenta, aquí dice date, la fecha, name, opcional, course, title, el curso, ¿verdad? O el taller, ¿verdad? El trainer, el capacitador, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds y después vamos a regresar con la canción que ahora le corresponde a Raquel, ¿verdad Raquel? Hi. Ojalá que pues se conecte porque me he pedido pues que para pasar con la canción, ok. I'm going to give you some time, remember five aspects to evaluate the effectiveness of a training. I'm going to send you Okay, I don't know if you have your screenshot. Let me check. Okay, maybe you can send. Okay, nice. Thank you. Wow. Okay, accept the request and see you in a moment. A checklist of five aspects. All right.
Okay, my friends, let's see what do we have. Who is going to be the first? Let's check here. Um, maybe you can present. Here you have the others. Yeah, I'm gonna say the mass. Okay. Maybe you can present your checklist. Pueden presentar lo que han trabajado. Vicky and Miguel, are you ready? Yes, teacher, but uh, we don't <laughs> work. <laughs> um, you don't have, you are, you are not ready. No, I am not ready. We don't okay. ready. Okay, you're not ready. Okay, I'm going to give you some time. What about Albert, Ernest, Nancy? Are you ready to present? You can share screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, who is going to, to share the screen? Can you, can you, Albert? Albert, can you present? Me regalo un momento, lo estoy descargando ahorita, que lo tengo en PDF. Perdón, pero está lento. No problem, sometimes it happens. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, if not, I can give you some time. And uh, Freddy and Majo, you need some time? Yes, teacher. Yes, we are ready. Okay, I please, go ahead. Screen. Please. Okay. Can you see it? Mm, One guess, moment. Yes. Six? Yes. Okay. Our questioner is about petinati training about leadership. The aspect to evaluate the training will be the next. First, Freddy. The topic was interesting for you and evaluate excellent, good, fair, and poor. Uh, the second one is, do you consider it the topic is useful to your task? At the same the way, excellent, good, fair, or poor? The three is the training was in training is most excellent, good, fair, poor. The number four uh, was the material clear to understand in the last one. And finally, does the training have the dom dominate of the topic? Yeah. That's it, teacher. Thank you. I like it. Very nice and good aspects. Then you can have an idea about if the training was good or not. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Morelia and Roxana, are you ready? Um, give me some minutes, okay. please. Okay, let's go with uh, Albert, Ernest, and Nancy, or Vicky and Miguel. Who? Okay, and uh, what about... Okay, please. Okay.
Nice. And who is going to present? Who is going to read? Do you see? Yeah. Okay, this is an evaluation about English class. Okay, perfect. Mm, yeah. Training effectiveness, evaluation four. Date today, uh, uh, November 29. The name is Jorge Hernandez, Course of Terror English class, trainer Nancy Saldana. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would you rate the overall quality of this training? The options excellent, good, fair, and poor. Nice. Is excellent. How would you evaluate the content of this model? Excellent. And the other question are yes or not. Consider that this training is effective in your workplace. Yes, in this case. Do you recommend this trainer to your family or friends? In this case, yes. And the last one, are you interested in more training of this type? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Very concrete. Thank you. Well done. Thank you uh, so much. Um, what about Vicky and Miguel? You need more time? Or you're about? Or Morelia and Roxana? Not yet. I can share uh, uh, something like a picture because I will do it in the notes. Okay. So I will try. Okay, let's see. Can I puedo transmitir pantalla? Sí. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Okay, I but I can I can see it, but okay. Can you can you see? Yes. Hi. Yes, we can see. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, the first one. Uh, the questionnaire is about uh customer service training. And the first one is, how do you rate the topic for customer service training? And excellent, fair, for good. And how do you consider the expression of the of the of the speaker? And excellent, fair, for good. Or how was the appetizers in the meeting? Excellent, fair, for good. And how do you rate the location? Excellent, good, fair, poor. And uh, how was the training and the speaker? Excellent, good, fair, and poor. Okay, very nice. Um, I guess that that is really useful. You can have it, for example, for different, um, it can be applied for different trainings, right? Good. Thank you. Well done, my friends. I guess we are like complete and we have like 24 minutes, well, 23 minutes and we say goodbye. Um. Okay. We were talking Teacher, about... Uh, yeah? Excuse me. We finished the activity. Perfect. We perfect. try. Yes, let's try. Um, is evaluation training topic uh, the name is industrial security mm -hmm. um, they um, name occupation and the crit 
criterios or criterios is are how did how do you like the training of an industrial safety? Um, excellent, good, fair, or poor. How important is it is for employees to receive this type of training? Excellent, other... good, fair, or poor. And how do you evaluate the training received? And how the how did the topics occur in the training appear? In the last question, how convenient was the location? Very nice, nice. I like it. Um, let's see. It is okay. like you take into account different things, even the location, right? Good. Uh -huh. thank you. Nice, thank you. Well done. So mm -hmm. if you, now you can have like a checklist how to evaluate. Thank you so much for your participation. We're going to do something to finish about will. And um, remember that we were uh, practicing different types of sentences. For example, uh, she will work on Saturday. She will not work on Saturday. Will she work on Saturday? Okay. I need you to make open questions. Esta es una pregunta cerrada. Will she work on Saturday? ¿Qué palabras, what words can we use? For example, why will she work? On Saturday. Entonces lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle WH question. What, where, when, uh, who, why, how. Ok. I need to write a question with one of these. Okay, for example, this. Why will she work on Saturday? So I will know that you can use this kind of sentence. Mm -hmm. I'll be waiting for your questions, please. Remember, it's similar to make like a, a question, a normal question, but we have to add where, when, why, how. Okay, I'll be waiting for your questions.
Let's listen. Okay. Albert and then Nancy, please. Read your question. Okay, teacher. Where we he were on Saturday. Okay. Ah, uh, Saturday. Okay. Change different. Thank you. Nancy. And Pardon, Rosa. Sunday. Excuse me. Aha. Uh -huh. Solo que Sunday lleva una U. Okay. Sunday. Thank you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Nancy and Roxanne. Who will she work on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Roxana and Freddy's. When will she visit her relatives on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, Freddy's. You go. There we go. Why will she travel the city on Monday? Mm -hmm. Travel to the city. Okay, nice. Could it be? What about the, the others? Mm -hmm. To the city. To the okay. city. Thank you. Maybe Maho, Vicky. Maybe they're not available. Roxana. Oh, here okay, we have Vicky. Okay, Vicky. Mm -hmm. How will he go to supermarket on Friday? Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Okay, Miguel. Um, Morelia. Let's see your questions. Okay, so uh, we're going to, oh, here we have the others. Okay, Maho. Okay, when will she go to visit her cousin? Mm -hmm. Perfect, Morelia. How will she go to start in, the, her, in her new job? New job, thank you. And Ernest. Where will she work this day? This day, perfect, thank you. That's it. Okay, Um, we're going to finish with Raquel. I don't know if you're ready. No sé si está por ahí, Raquel. Que hoy te correspondía la canción porque ayer fue Brandon. But if you're not ready, si no estás lista, Nos vamos con la última actividad. Porque, because um, um, I have, I want to check the platform. Quiero revisar la, la plataforma y ver quiénes hacen falta porque mañana es el último día. Well, the last class is tomorrow. So let's see. Is country life better than city life? Why? Yes. Why not? Okay. I want to see your opinions, your answers. And after this, we're going to finish the class. Okay. I'll be waiting for all your opinions in the chat. Remember, but uh, I'm going to be checking the platform, okay? Please, I need you to send your answers here, okay? And then we're going to read and discuss uh, the idea. Disculpe, sé que mañana no puedo cantar la canción. Ok. Estaba bastante ocupado. Sí. Ok, tomorrow. Ok.
Okay, let's see. We finish this class. We have Miguel and then Albert. Please, Miguel, give your your opinion. Okay, teacher. Uh, to live in the countryside or in the city for me, pops are beautiful because if I were to live in the countryside and work there, I couldn't because I no used to used to it. But in the city is easier for me because it's what I know best. But I do want air clean, clean. I will go to the countryside and the city. I can go to many beautiful places. For example, have a cup of coffee, visit a shopping center, go to restaurant, etc. Is my opinion, yeah. teacher. Yeah, like positive things in both, right? But related to work, maybe in the city, we have more opportunities, right? Thank you, Miguel. Very nice ideas. I like it. Uh, Albert and Roxana. Hey, Albert. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, the countryside, because we better fresh air. We don't have the noise, the cars. In my opinion, the simple, simple city of the period is better for mm, me. Countryside. Yeah. yeah, it's better. Beautiful. It's, like, it's right, relaxed. Mm -hmm. And everything is slow, calm. Thank you. Uh, Roxana and Ernest. Okay. I like life in the city better because you have many things to do. Everything is closer. Mm -hmm. And in the countryside, for example, if you get sick, uh, you the hospital is so far. So I mm -hmm. think it's a big problem. And especially for emergencies. Yes, for emergencies. Emergency, for, for example, there, there are some women that they are pregnant, they're waiting for a baby. It is very yes. difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ernest and Maho. Thank you, teacher. I think the country life is more slowly. I mean, in spite of the fact that it's more hard not, it is life more comfortable. On the other hand, the city life is more quickly. Apparent, no time to lose, traffic, war, studies, etc. But I think both are beautiful and we have to be grateful. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in the cities, very quickly, traffic. Yeah, let the, and it's the opposite in the countryside. Yeah, could it be? Thank you. Um, oh, I agree with you. We have to be grateful. Uh, okay, Maho and Morelia. Okay, I think that the life in the countryside is calmer, quieter, and cooler. But in the city, everything is more accessible, but there is so much pollution, more noise, and people are more indifferent. If I had to choose, I could take the countryside. And there is a, a very special word. Yeah, people are more indifferent, and that's true, right? Maybe in the countryside, people even greet you, say good, good morning, good afternoon. Not all the people, but yes, yes there are still people that, that they say hello. And yeah, it is like very different. Thank you. Morelia and Fredis. Country life is better than city life because there are less contamination of noise and smoke and people. I loved my country life always easier than now. And the traffic of the city is very tired. Mm -hmm. Traffic of the city is really, really tired. Something yeah. complicated. And the traffic is getting worse. Every year, it, it, it's so heavy. It's harder. Thank you, Morelia. So many Predis, yeah. Yeah, the houses are, are smaller. Yeah, they, they are different. But we have access to the malls, to the cinema, hospital, schools. Yeah, that's it. It is like contrast. Predis and Nancy. 
uh, in my opinion, the life in the country is better than life in the city because life is slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is calm, right? And yeah. also, um, we have more space in the countryside, even more space to walk or, or, or to have plants, flowers. Yeah, that's something that it is really positive. Uh, in the city, it is not we don't have too much space, right? It's kind of uh, different. But definitely in the city, we have a lot of jobs. In the countryside, we don't have too much possibilities to, to earn money in different ways. So thank you, Nancy. We finish with you. Life in the country has its benefits, but there are more benefits in the city because mm -hmm. in the city there is usually everything and in the country the hospitals and the schools are remote mm -hmm. yeah it is like that and even clinics hospital medicine if you need some medicine uh, in the city you, you can have it okay in different prices but in the countryside maybe uh, the time that you take to move from one place to another is kind of uh, complicated, right? Okay, my friends, um, we're going to finish until here. Uh, I have checked already the platform and I see that everybody has worked good. Yeah, the minimal, the, the, the minimal grade is 98, 9.8, yes. And the rest is 100%, yeah. You're doing really good. So we don't have problems related to this. And remember, the only aspects to approve this course is to be in class, work in the platform, and to finish with the final survey. La encuesta final de mañana is super importante. That's so important okay so please don't i know that uh, you are like listener because some uh, situations for algunas cuestiones pero les solicito que mañana a la hora de la encuesta si sí estén todos activos se pueden estar ocupados pero es necesario porque si una encuesta sale mal a nosotros nos llama la atención porque solo se puede hacer una vez esa encuesta entonces Es un tanto delicada, así que le voy a pedir a, a los que están como oyentes que al momento, seguramente va a ser a las 8 y 20, la, nosotros comenzamos a las 8 la clase, pero la encuesta va a ser, vamos a iniciar la, al tipo 8 y 20 y necesito que todos estemos en la misma sintonía. We all uh, should be in the same page, que estemos en la misma página para que eh, lo hagamos bien. Normalmente se tarda, nos tardamos en, en, en las encuestas por hacerlas bien, ¿verdad? Sería todo mañana, último, última clase, no se la pierda, ¿ok? See you tomorrow, my friends. Dejen su toma, pulgar arriba en el chat para que yo pueda pasar esta lista, ¿ok? Hey. Eh, Vicky, you. you're welcome, my friend. Vicky, te falta tu respuesta, ¿verdad, Vicky? Ya. Yeah. Adelante, contigo terminamos. For me, life in the country is better because there is more fresh air. It can also be cheaper to buy food. Um, sometimes the house has more garden. Gardens, yeah. Even you can plant your own food. You can plant vegetables. That's really, yes. really good. Yeah, definitely. You can save uh, money. Yeah, yeah, potato. You can have more different, different things, okay? Thank you, my friends, for your thumb up. See you tomorrow. Mañana, última clase. No se la pierdan. Por favor, puntuales. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good, good, good night. Good night. Bye, my friends. Good job. Good night, teacher. Good job, too, my friends. Bye-bye.